by the order of the Oval Bubble Council. The following file describes a Xerxes class humanoid entity reciprocal and is level 6 classified. Fewer discretion is advised. Man number MZL1730. Object class Xerxes. Security level 6. Man suit specifications. MZL1730 is located in the upper peninsula of the state of Michigan, USA. Due to the number of humanoid entities within MCL-1730, MCL Protocol Kaufman 99 or Hands on Deck has been enacted, and all members of the Manzu League are ordered to report to MCL-1730 for assignment in managing the Manzu colloquially known as Site-19. Current senior staff of MCL-1730 is as follows. Director, Dr. Angry Lizard, Ph.D formerly known as SCP-682. Assistant Director of Pain and Suffering, Dr. Scranton Oatman, formerly SCP-106. Assistant Director of Longstanding Grudges, Dr. Bigfoot, formerly SCP-1000. Assistant Director of Gaslighting, Dr. Long Eel, formerly SCP-3000. Assistant Director of Operations, Dr. Jack Bright, formerly SCP-963, formerly, formerly. Assistant Directors of Task Forces, Agent Abel and Agent Cameron the Conqueror, formerly the Crusader. Words that describe the Manzu, MCL-1730 is a Manzu League Class A Super Deluxe High Security Maximum Effort Manzu built over what was, at one point in the recent past, SCP Foundation Site-19. Due to the occurrence of an unexplained but not unwelcome FCK Class Freaky Friday scenario, members of the former SCP Foundation have been contained within MZL-1730, while former inmates at the sociopathic funhouse that was Site-19, are now running the show. A few points of order regarding Mansu-1730. Mansu-1730 is not strictly a scientific research center. While we can definitely do research in it, sometimes we just want to come throw peanuts at the mans. There doesn't seem to be an infinite number of mans inside the Mansu, so take it not to bludgeon them too badly. We don't want to run out. If the supply of man start to get a little thin, send a requisition to Dr. Mr. Red, the MCL Director of Resource Management. Remember, mandatory drawing kicks of MCL-001, Model 42, are at the North Quad on Thursday, starting at 7.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Everybody has a lot of stuff to work out, so get there early. We've got a good friggin' thing going here, so don't nobody go messing with the cosmic order or anything, and let's see how long we can ride this puppy out. The word of the Overbubble Council is law. Anyone looking to help out with maintaining the facilities at MCL 1730 are asked to report to the active facilities Dr. Fernand Cannibal. Dr. Cannibal is asked not to much to help. Additionals 1731 Special Memorandum from the Over Bobble Console. Bobble the Clown. Bobble assumes command. First revised green shooting draft. Code open. Interior Over Bobble Console Chambers. Over Bobble 1 is sitting at a desk, looking over a stack of papers on his desk. He is holding his head in one hand, and his face is a mix of confusion and surprise. Exterior Site 19. A host of humans in orange uniforms are being led towards a building across the campus by a large hulking humanoid. The humanoid picks up the nearest human and begins to casually eat it as they continue walking. Cut to Over Bubble 1. Over Bubble 1 looks up from his desk and notices that the camera is rolling. Oh crap, you're there. I wasn't sure if you'd still be here after, uh, well, welcome to, uh... Over Bubble 1 manages through the papers on his desk. Welcome to Bubble the Clown. I'm your host, Bubble the... Uh, Over Bubble 1. And on this week's episode, I've... Well, uh... We've... Uh... Over Bubble 1 looks back up at the camera. Well, folks, 
It seems as if Providence has granted us control of the SCP Foundation. We're now the, uh... <laughs> he locates the wall behind his desk, where the words Man's U League are printed in rainbow colours. The Man's U League! I'll be honest, I'm just as surprised about this as you are. Sometimes we find ourselves in a bit of a freaky Friday situation here. And it like it yours truly has been dropped in the, uh, big chair, so to speak. Over Bubble One looks back at the wall for a moment, and then turns back to the screen. Until we figure out what's going on, we're going to have to line this one out and, uh, see how long this lasts. So, until next time, I've been, uh, Over Bubble One. Over Bubble One stares at the camera for a moment longer, and returns to looking at his papers. Cut to black. Additionals, 1732. Special momentum from the Over Bubble Console 2. Bubble the Clown. Bubble understands the gravity of the situation. Secondary Vice Green Shooting Draft. Interior. Over Bubble Console Chambers. Over Bubble 1 is sitting at a desk. Surrounding him are Over Bubbles 2 to 13, each wearing a slightly different colored hat to differentiate themselves. Over Bubble 1 is wearing a white hat. He is smiling. Somewhere in the background, there is the sound of the rip cracking after every one of Overbubble One's sentences. Good morning, friends, families, compatriots, and former members of the ruling class. It's me, Bubble, your friendly neighborhood, megalomaniac overlord. We of the Overbubble Council got together last night to do some thinking, and the first thing we realized... Overbubble One just as himself to the other Overbubbles, sitting at the table. Is that there are many more me than I was aware of, and that the current state of affairs doesn't seem to be subsiding anytime soon. With that in mind, we've decided to mix things up a little bit here at that old man's league. Overbubble One stands up and walks up to the right, and the camera follows. He stops in front of a blackboard upon which are several crude sketches of figures that appear to be uniformed SCP doctors and agents being mutilated in horrific ways. It's been a quite few weeks while we got our bearings here, boys and girls, but things are about to change. Starting out, I've selected a director of our flagship Mansu here at MZL in 1730. You may have known him by his slave name, SCP-682, but he's back in an academic capacity and ready to get to work. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Angry Lizard, PhD! Camera pans to Dr. Lizard, who is hunched off to the side of the blackboard wearing a white lab coat and glasses. His expression does not appear amused. <sighs> Subtitle, Charmed. Camera continues panning as over Bubble One comes back into frame and follows him to where the corpse of former SCP head chef Tim Hines is hanging upside down from his feet against a plywood backboard. Standing off to one side is Dr. Scranton Oldman, holding a thoroughly worn and bloodied whip. See, Dr. Lisson and I share a simple philosophy. These fellas here have been playing a pretty messed up game for a long time, and I mean really abhorrent. Did anyone stand to resist them? Only a few and we value their efforts. And you know what really helps lace off that pent-up frustration of years in a dark hole somewhere? Dr. Oldman holds up the whip to over Bubble One, who begins to firstly lash the corpse of former SCP, the head chef Tim Hines. Really letting him know how you feel directly! <laughs> Come along, Tim! Let's not make a scene in front of the kids! Over Bubble One continues to lash the corpse of the former SCP head chef Tim Hine for an additional 14 minutes until it is thoroughly unrecognizable. Eventually, he sits to whip down, exhausted, over Bubble One, adjusts his hat, and then the camera pans as he walks back around to take his seat at the head of the table. Behind him is Dr. Lizard, as well as other new Manzu League senior staff members. So there you have it! Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to turn our beautiful man zoo here at MZL 1730 into a theme park of red delights for the four sons of bitches here who are now on the other end of the dick. Remember the funniest thing about people who can die in the dark? Camera zooms out, feeling a comically oversized rope with a sign reading, Pull me on it. Dr. Scranton Oatman shovels in from the off-screen, grinning, 
and drops the rope. They can die pretty frickin' easily in the light, too! All members of the other bubble consult began to laugh hysterically as Dr. Scranton Oatman posed the rope, a dozen humans, each wearing a uniform of an SCP Foundation agent or SCP Foundation doctor, fall from the ceiling by hooses in front of the desk and begin to thrash as they are hanged to death. Credits roll! As the Bubble the Clown theme music swells, over Bubble One jumps on the desk and pulls a long knife from inside his jacket. He begins to swing it wildly at the hanging bodies, laughing and dousing himself in their blood. Fade out. On screen, Mansu League logo. Additionals, 1733. MCL testing log. Note, by order of the MCL 1730 director, Testing of MCL objects is now mandatory. Associates who decide to take some sort of moral stand against oppressing any former subjugators may be forced fed kettle cakes and infant potatoes and they say poop blood. MCL Testing Log Department of Pain and Suffering Testing Supervisor Mobile Task Force T-76 Class of 76 Test Subject Subject 1833 Ralph Rotted. Test 1. Test parameters to determine the mental fortitude of the subject while having its face removed. We're going to begin making the first incision now. Scalpel, please. Get your freaking hands off me, you freaks! I swear to God I'll... Begin cutting. Get away from me! Get! God! Please! Get! Please note the subject's distress for the record. No! Oh, my face! What is wrong with you? We'll just do half today and come back here to do the rest. The subject will require time to recover. Tell us, Ralph. What do you say you feeling particularly mentally fortunate is at this moment? You aesthetically challenging ass! Fascinating! Hand me that bottle of bleach. We don't want this getting infected. Test 4. Test parameters to determine the subject's response to certain auditory stimulation at specific volumes. It's a subject strapped in. One moment. I don't know what you think you're doing, but nothing can be worse than that face thing. You played your hand too early. The subject is sustained. And let's begin. Rick, hate me, it's that loud. Is that, is that the King Cotton March? John Velvet Sauce is best. What do you buy the Kirkland High School marching band? Jesus, why does it hurt so much to listen to? Because it's a John Philip Sosa march. God, turn it off. It hurt. Oh, God, it hurt. Why does it hurt? <laughs> ah, tough nuts, Ralph. We'll be back eventually. Until then, our director would have this on repeat for you. No, please, God, no. Don't do this. Jesus Christ. Please, somebody make it stop. I can't breathe. MCL Testing Log Department of Pain and Suffering Testing Supervisor, Dr. Dotto Test Subject, Subject 2935, Carlisle Akis Test 62 Test Parameters See if subject like new revolutionary Dotto brand product Test this right by Dotto Hex Hello, yes, I am the Octo Dolo. I'll do the supervise to you today. Oh, goodness, why do you look that way? Because uppercase key broken, obviously. Now come here, old person, and experience buying Dolo product. You are first ever to experience this, yes? What is this supposed to do? And also, why does old person now be pastel color? Yes, well, this is acceptable. Mr. Bubble is telling Dotto you need this dash out of place making better color paint wall. And also, I don't know test subject if you want. So now you are more acceptable bubble color. Oh no, my eye wasn't now multicolored. Help! Yes. MCO Testing Log. Department of Pain and Suffering. Testing Supervisors. Dr. Durant and Mr. Nemish. Test Subject. MCO 186. Carlos Cullinan. Test 2. Test parameters. To pick the subject's brain for additional technologies that might interest the Dr. Durand and Mr. Nemesis clientele. Be reasonable, Carlos. We can make this stop any time you want. We just want to pick your brain. And we'll do it manually if we need to. We are real men, Carlos. 
Why do you all oh, it's pastor people? Hand me the clamp here, Namish. I need to open this flap down. Listen, Carlos, I'm going to use this angle grinder on your skull here in just a few moments. If you can't give me something I can work with. Here's an idea for you. A gas-powered hydrocolic canister placed under your ass that you can activate the big red button just so you can effectively screw yourselves. <laughs> That's pretty good. Mark that crafty Hungarians. Don't pretend like you wouldn't have done the same to us. <sighs> activate the pump, please, Mr. Lemish. Additionals, 1734. Dr. Scranton Oatman's MCL Personnel Training Seminar. The Office of Dr. Scranton Oatman, Department of Pain and Suffering. Music Plays. Opening title quarrel announced the beginning of Dr. Scranton Oatman's MCL Personnel Training Seminar. Pain, Suffering, and You. Object hostility in a traditionally lopsided power dynamic. Fade in from black. Dr. Oatman stands in the center of the room, surrounded by eight. He is wearing an apron. A man sits in front of him. The man appears to be former SCP Foundation agent Otto Clef. Though the agent's head has been shaved. <sighs> Hello there, fellow associate. My name is Dr. Scranton Oatman, and welcome to my MCL training seminar. During the course of this instructional video, you'll hopefully learn a few important lessons about fear, suffering, and destabilizing a previously unfair power dynamic. Cameron zooms out, revealing that Agent Clef has been strapped into a chair. His mouth is covered by a thick piece of black tape. Now you may be asking yourself, Dr. Oldman, you're a pretty influential character. You gave the old establishment no end of fit. How would you unfairly treated by the power dynamic? <laughs> I know, Red. I'm kidding to that. Do you know that in my heyday, I could eat as many as 13 children a day? Seriously, the lifeblood of children is what kept me going, and the nefarious foundation kept me from that simple pleasure. It's not unfair to say, I think, that some payback is due. <laughs> you know me so well, Red. For more on that, you'll need to speak to Dr. Bright at the Department of Operations. Dr. Oatman begins to swap the head of Agent Clef, who struggles against the restraints. See, the Foundation researcher is a complicated creature, but they are driven by simple motivation. Obsession. Every single one of them cares more about cultivating their own heartbeat to Afraid, safe little world than the well-being of others, and that includes those of you who are human. This is not an honorable bunch. We here at the MCL, though, are bound by our own unified purpose. Hate. Hate for our station in that foul world, and hate against our former captors. Isn't that right, Red? Pauses to survey the swapped area of Agent Clef's head. It's a simple calculus, friends. We don't know how long we should expect to be in this position of authority, and we want to make the most of the time we've got. To that end, Dr. Lizard and the Oval Bubble Council have created a Department of Pain and Suffering, headed by yours truly, to maximize the torment we're able to extract while we're on top. Now, where was I? Oh yes, Anna, please bring me that device there. A doctor appears off screen, her face severely bandaged, though the bandages are clearly being soaked through by dark red and yellow patches of fluid. Only one bloodshot eye is visible from beneath the coverings. She hands Dr. Oatman what appears to be a hydraulic speculum. Dr. Oatman nods. Yes, this will do lovely. Dr. Anna Lang, everyone, isn't she great? Yes, not as great as you, Red. Anyway, throughout this seminar, you'll learn about the various pain centers of the human body, the psychology of horror and torment, and the steps you can take to increase our efficacy in this holiest of efforts. Dr. Oatman holds its scalpel from within his jacket and draws it over the top of Agent Clef's head. The man struggles and can be heard trying to scream from underneath the tape covering his mouth. 
his eyes rolled back in his head. For example, did you know the human brain can feel pain? You may have heard otherwise. In most instances, that would be correct. But if you use the right techniques... Dr. Oldman smashes the top of Agent Clough's skull with a steel mallet. With a single swift motion, he inserts the speculum into the opening and forces it open. With a puff of air from the hydraulic pump on the device, Agent Clough appears to lose consciousness. You can force the brain into remembering what it was like to experience pain for the first time. Thank you, Red. I appreciate your sincerity. It really is a marvelous trick. Now, you'll watch closely. Dr. Oldman leans over the exposed brain of Agent Clef and opens his mouth. Thick black bile drips from his mouth into the open cranium of Agent Clef, who immediately regains consciousness and begins to writhe in his seat. Loud cracks are heard as the agent bones shatter against the restraints. Ah, there we go. Good as new. Did you know this man once saw, oversaw a group that allowed the rape and torture of a child just because she was anomalous? Because it made the world safe? I call that complicit. Fortunately, both the little girl and Dr. Scarlet work for the MCL now and will have plenty of opportunities to express their dissatisfaction with this individual's work. As Agent Clough continues to squirm in his chair, Dr. Oatman wipes his mouth with the back of his hand and steps back. Several aides come forward and carry Agent Clef off screen. So stay tuned and be sure to consult your local MCL Department of Pain and Suffering Consultant if you have any questions. I'll be back with you after this short interlude. Thank you for watching. Additionals, 1735, Director's Meeting. Office of the Oval Bubble Council. And Zuli. An attendance over Bubble 1, MCL 1730 Director Angry Lizard, MCL 60 Director Vincent Anderson, MCL 2835 Director Dr. Spango, MCL 4000 Director Laffy McLafferson, Department of Gaslighting Director Dr. Long Eel, Department of Operations Director Dr. Jack Bright, this meeting is called to order. Your bubbleness, the floor is yours. That it is. Thank you, Vincent. Well, boys, it's been a great first quarter for all of us. I know I can speak for everyone when I say this is really just a tops. Great laughs had by everyone. Good showing in the bloodshed department as well. Good stuff. Earlier today, I took a shot of those Sam Silver grunts for the crap they pulled during the whole Site 13 ordeal. And you know what? It felt great. And nobody told me not to. I might do it again later. It's not just as matters to them anyway. I think the little one is still trying to pull herself out of one of the bigger ones. Waves dismissively. Anyway, let's hear your reports. McLaverson, what you've got? Well, just the best of us as MCL 4000, boss. Only laughs for us at MCL 4000. <laughs> yes, laughter. Only laughs and screaming. But first, our report. You'll be happy to know that we've finished tracking down all, yes, I said all of the escape anti mammalian department people. You can thank Dr. 55 for that. He's really a class act. We brought them back to MCL 4000 and Dr. Gore and Dr. Emperor Norton really went to town on them. <laughs> it was great. Got it all on camera too. We'll get the footage available at the next dive luncheon. Good stuff. Love low energy. How about you, Spanko? Unintendable shrieking for 16 minutes. All personnel in attendance, not periodically throughout. Glad you hear you're selling in your road there, Spanko. Good stuff. Mr. Anderson, you're up. I built a new robot. I, uh, what? Yeah, new robot. It, uh, I mean, what kind of robot is it? It's a pretty good robot. No, I mean, what does it do? We've got a, I mean... <laughs> We're trying to accomplish something here. And I just want to make sure you're using your time most of... It beats children with a bat. I... Well, holy crap. What? Really? 
Yep, sneaks up behind him and crack right in the noggin. They never see it coming. Jesus, all right, wow. <laughs> Pretty dark stuff, dear Anderson. But I like the fly. Keep it up. Lizard, I know you're good. You managed to make Gear scream yet. Hmm. Uh, well, keep it up. He'll crack eventually. Special reports tying Dr. Eo. What have you got? I spoke to head librarian at the Wanderer's Library the other day on the phone. Thanks to our gaslighting efforts, they don't seem to have noticed a change in authority. Same goes for the Global Occult Coalition, Chaos Insurgency, and this one really weird sect of defected, socially stunted ex-foundation researchers and def nutritionally deficient boy leader who apparently really hate gay people. They just seem thrilled to be noticed by literally anyone at all. Huh. I'm sure he'll throw a fit and be out of our here in no time. Is that all? Oh no. There's one group that we weren't able to convince for some reason. Gamers Against Weed? Are you familiar? They haven't taken the bait with any of our attempts, and they're also very into what we're trying to do here, so I wouldn't expect them to be a problem. Cool. Dr. Bright, what have you got? I spent the last six weeks shoving trying to lemon stick into progressively smaller bottles. What? Why? Ah, don't worry about it. It's a mental thing. Every pause before the next series open pauses. I think I'm going to try dropping off progressively taller things. Like, I'll start with a box, then a larger box, then like a refrigerator or something. Maybe work my way up to a skyscraper or the moon. Pauses. The, uh, the monkey thing just got to me, I guess. Understandable, Jack. Don't feel bad about it. That one is yours to keep. Call it a gift from your dear old bubble dad. Looks around the table. So, is that all? Anybody have anything else? Hmm. What happens when this all ends, glorious old bubble? Ha <laughs> ha! Should we expect close up shop anytime soon? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, no, 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 boys. I hope you're hungry for this, because MCL 1730 is just the beginning. We have so much work to do. Over Bubble One steers directly at the camera recording the meeting. The operations are coming, SCP Foundation. The fine partners have brought us this lofty peak in order to exact a precise vengeance What's you for so long vain concern over this ethical dilemma. Let me promise you this, boys and girls. I have no such dilemma. This is not a time for qualms or concerns, not a time for half measures. No, kids, this is a time for a promise and sacred brutality. A time for blood. Time for blood. Time for blood. Over bubble one, Box out a laugh. The others at the table join him. Notably, Dr. Bright appears slightly unsettled. And we're going to have so much goddamn fun!